Here is the latest Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus review. And this is one of the most expensive flagship model of the year 2017 from the Samsung. This gadget is sponsored by ECT Vijayawada, one-stop solution for all your home needs. Design It's a master class in engineering and performance and comfortably the finest big smartphone you can buy right now. You will find the phone comfortable in hand despite the large 6.2 inch display. It is not massive. The looks are indefinite and the back of the phone looks just like the Samsung S7 with the glassy finish. The phone has the micro USB port. It comes with a fast charger. The jet black color is really impressive. Although you have other color options, I recommend to buy this color as it matches the intense edge display. The phone is a narrow and taller. It comes with the dimensions of 159.5 by 73.4 by 8 mm. Holding the phone is nice and not actually bad. It is glossy and glassy as well, attracting a lot of fingerprints. Moving to the placements, on the top you will find the SIM tray which is a hybrid SIM slot where you can place one SIM card and one SD card or two SIM cards. On the top comes the IR blaster. To the bottom lies the 3.5mm audio jack, USB type C port, mic and a speaker. On the left it has a dedicated key for Bixby which cannot be changed by default but with the third party applications you can change that. Here is the volume button. This side is the power button. Above the display you will find the iris scanner. At the back comes the camera LED flash and the fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor is placed just beside the camera and mostly you get confused with both of them until you habituate it. For me it is not comfortable and felt awkward. An LED notification light is also available. This is an IP68 water resistant design. Display It comes with a 6.2H QHD Plus Super AMOLED display. 6.2 inch in the rectangle and 6.1 inch with accounting for the rounded corners. And somehow the curved display and edges gives comfort in holding. It also has this always on display. You can set the screen saver with motion which feels like a 3D screen. You can watch videos with paramount clarity and the viewing angles are perfect. The edge screen seems to give a bezel-less look. Specifications The Galaxy S8 Plus is running on octa-core processor with Exynos 8895 chipset with Mali G71 MP20 GPU. It is running on the Android Nougat version 7.0. It comes in 4GB RAM and 64GB internal memory. The expandable memory provided up to 256GB. This is a dual SIM device with 4G connectivity. Additionally with Wi-Fi, Hotspot, Bluetooth 5.0 and GPS. The stereo speaker is given. Accelerometer, Barometer, Fingerprint Sensor, Gyro Sensor, Geomagnetic Sensor, Hull sensor, HR sensor, proximity sensor, RGB light sensor, iris sensor, pressure sensor are present. Moving to the battery, this one is having 3500 mAh lithium ion non removable battery. Samsung own features are Samsung Pay, Samsung Knox, My Galaxy, Samsung Health, Samsung Gear, and Smart Switch. To go to the apps, just simply swipe up. Moving to the performance, it has the virtual home button which can be pressed even when it is off and it is just works. Even though the fingerprint scanner placement is bit awkward, the touch is quite responsive. The display brightness is wonderful. The Nougat 7.0 interface is easy to use. You have lot of customization options. And I can't really judge about the 3500mAh battery life. This is not a demo piece, so I connected to the Play Store and did download some heavy apps to test the performance. I played Dead Trigger which played pretty fine all the way with wonderful graphic quality.
sturdiness or lag is noticed. I have run some benchmarks. The attitude scoring is 1,71,579 which is perfect and more than iPhone 7 Plus and MI6. The Nanamark score is 60 FPS. Finally, the Geekbench score is 1982 on single core and 6491 on multi core. All the scores are roading the performance of the S8 Plus. We got this Bixby feature which is unavailable in India and dedicated key provided for that is of no use. And it would be better if the button can be used for other purposes. By using this device you will get a great software experience. Camera The phone packs a 12 megapixel rear camera with f1.7 aperture lens and 8 megapixel front camera with f1.7 aperture lens. It has the tap to focus. It also has some beauty features like skin toner. It has this funny animations which is nice. Camera modes are auto mode, pro mode, panorama, selective focus, slow motion, hyperlapse, food and virtual shot. These are some sample shots that I have taken. It takes wonderful pictures and the clarity is really amazing. You get the exact lifelike pictures which are stunningly beautiful. The front camera is also nice and you can take wide angle selfies. The overall camera is awesome. Talking about the difference between S8 and S8 Plus is, then there is only one thing you need to consider. How big do you want your phone as the performance is similar? Listing out the pros and cons. Pros. Outstanding viewing experience. The performance is smooth and multitasking is easy. Cameras give wonderful pictures, wonderful gaming, lot of internal storage. Cons No use of Bixby feature. Fingerprint sensor is not positioned comfortably. And coming to the end, the Samsung S8 Plus is one of the expensive phones which works like that. The display is outstanding. It's a masterclass in engineering and performance. And comfortably, the finest big smartphone you can buy right now. If you want to buy this device, please buy from the link provided below. If you have any queries and suggestions, comment in the comment section. Please like, share and subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.